What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. If you watched the video I uploaded yesterday, I kind of talked about some hints that DICE had given in a podcast about things that were going to come to the game in the May update and in June. They did not give us any specific details, but today we got a second community transmission that gave us some details about things coming in the May update. So let's get right into what these things are. First of all, probably the biggest announcement out of all this was there will be a level cap increase for all characters from troopers all the way to heroes. So no matter what character you play, you can level these characters up now to level 1000. You heard me right, level 1000. This is going to be a very grindy process, but that's a good thing because a lot of people like to have something to do when they get online, something to work towards. And getting all these characters to a level 1000 will take a while. So. This is something to definitely grind out for a long period of time. They said also that you're going to kind of enter a prestige style mode. You will get a different golden kind of looking icon beside your character. And once you hit level level 1,000 with each character, you will get a certain icon that represents level 1,000 for those classes that you have ranked to 1,000. Now, they said they will also be adding a voiceover wheel, which is pretty much like the emote wheel, but it's just the voice lines. Now, how you get these voice lines... It's very simple. You're using the same voice lines that you have on your emotes, but they're just on a separate wheel. That way you don't have to do the emote if you just want to use the voice line. Now they did state they may later on do something different where they have a certain thing that's just voice lines that are separate from the emotes that you already have or the voice lines you already have, but they did not give a specific date or if they would even do that. But a lot of people like to use their hero or their villain and just use the voice line and not have to fool with using the emote. So I kind of like this idea. And last but not least, they did say appearance bundles will no longer be, will no longer be purchasable with in-game currency. Appearance bundles now will be crystals only. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this, but I'm sure they're trying to make some money uh, now. The game is dirt cheap, and there's a lot of players getting back into it. They said these appearance bundles will be a lot cheaper than they are now. So if these are really, you know, a pretty fair price, I wouldn't mind paying real money for some of these appearance bundles. I'm sure other people would not. But it's not a thing that you have to do. I don't know if I would, but to have that option if it's cheap enough is not a bad opinion, uh, not a bad thing in my opinion. But I wish you could still buy them with in-game currency. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.